Welcome back everyone. It's Mike with M How Nines Fish Tanks again and welcome back to the fish barn. Today we're going to take a look at installment number two on how to raise clownfish. In this episode we are going to take a look at how to raise the rotor for culture, how to set up the larval tank, uh, we're going to film the hatching and then show you uh, the morning after and how the larval rearing system looks the morning after it hatches. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're here uh, gonna set up our rotor for culture up here. Um, we've got a five gallon bucket. We have our algae. And we have the rotor first. So let's go ahead in here and we're gonna get going on this. First thing you wanna do is you wanna fill up your bucket with water. So with some salt water. I'm just going to take water from the tank over here. We've got some water from the tank. Now we're going to release the rotifers in here. So we've released the rotifers in there. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to tint it with the algae. And there we go. We've uh, got it going now. We've got our air stone in there. Got it bubbling. Uh, so that's how to do the rotor first. Tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and do this, um, do a second one so we have a backup, but we're gonna let the rotifers uh, grow. Uh, so you wanna check this every so often, at least once a day. Uh, what'll happen is it'll get less green as the rotifers eat the algae. Uh, from that point, uh, you wanna add some more of the, uh, of the algae to it, and that's your mixture. Okay, we're now back up here in the fish barn, and we're gonna set up the uh, larval rearing tank now. So this black round tub right here is the larval rearing tank. Um, I use this to put some tank water in, which I've already done. Um, I've added an air stone right here, um, hooked up to the air pumps. So it's gonna, you really wanna try to keep it in the middle because um, you wanna have um, a varied flow pattern. And also I have this, uh, I have it so that I can control the flow. Um, you can't see that on camera, but I have a little valve here to control the flow. And the last thing I'm gonna add is a little 100 watt heater. And one thing that's very important here is if you see here, I've got some electrical tape around the red light. Uh, the fry are uh, what you call phototropic, which means uh, they're attracted to the light. So if you don't cover the, the red light on your heater, um, it could get burned or your fry could get burned. So therefore you wanna keep the heater light um, darkened out so the, fry, so the fry can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the heater in now. All right, so now we have the uh, larval tank set up. Um, the last thing I'm gonna add to this is I'm gonna put a light above here. Um, so I'll shoot a picture of that once I'm done and I'll add that into the video. Um, I've gotta do a little bit of building for that. So I'll get that added uh, and uh, we'll come right back. All right, we now have the uh, light on there. Um, it's a rather uh, kind of rigged up system here, but uh, it'll work. So this is the uh, this is the clownfish breeding setup. This is the this is how you would leave, weird the larva in the black round tub. So uh, now we just have to wait for the fry. It is now the morning after the clownfish have hatched. 
I have set up the green water system as you've seen here. What I did last night after the hatch is I added the rotifers and I did add some of the green water and added some of the microalgae that I've been adding to the rotifer culture. I also turned down the flow of the air stone for now uh, since the larvae are rather microscopic and I really do not want to subject them to a high flow rate at this point. Over time I will increase the flow rate as they grow in size. So this is the update for now. Uh, we're just going to monitor the green water for the next few days. Uh, make sure we keep it green. Uh, maybe add some rotifers here and there to make sure the rotifers are doing well. So that's really it for now. Uh, right now it's really going to be a waiting game uh, until we get to the settlement phase. But this is really the basics of raising clownfish. Well that concludes our episode today on how to raise a clownfish. I hope you learned something about raising rotifers, setting up the larval tank, and enjoyed the hatching video and what happens after the hatch. At this point it's really a waiting game until we get to settlement. So at that point I will shoot another video and give you guys an update on how the clownfish are doing. So with that, um, that's the end of the episode and as always I thank you for watching.